okay so welcome to btide in this video we are going over the documentation of the uh, our loot advanced loot generator plugin for the demo you can just see the description for the timestamp but uh, this plugin is basically a replica of what happens in battle royale games like pubg or for any game for that matter where you have weapons and you want ammo to be near the weapons and scopes to be near the weapons and also it's an generator so it will of course have a randomness in generation generating the items you can uh, control the spawn percentage and uh, everything can be made to run from the blueprint although the plugin has been made in c++ as you know so let's get started and let's create a new folder make it loot folder and then we will just make item folder and create our first item name this uh, this should be of the child base item so if you already have any item you can just change the uh, parent class to the base item and it will be supported by the system and now name this pp fippin one and i will just Control D and now we have two weapons and we also need an attachment so that we can spawn it near this weapon. So base item and we will just name this BP attachment and for the attachment let's select the static mesh should uh, we are using the free fps bundle which is available on the marketplace so we will just uh, use a scope for that matter now this one and this looks good and in the class defaults i will just make this a multiplayer game and this distance above ground i will just explain in a minute and now we need our first weapon and nearby item is the attachment because we want the attachment to spawn near this weapon and we will just stick use nearby item and spawn possibility for the nearby item is the should item is always spawn or it should have 50 50 percent 20 percent chance of spawning i will just take always spawn so that i can show you and then multiplayer game now the last thing which we need is we need to make uh, tell the list of the items we need to spawn oh sorry for the weapon one we need to select a mesh also viewport uh, static mesh no i think it's skeletal mesh let me just select the weapon mesh and just select this skeletal mesh here we can just extend uh, the box to fit the weapon correctly now this box is responsible for the outline so you need to make sure that you set the box extent correctly and the well, we will just create a new blueprint class for uh, loot points make it bp loot point this just needs to be single blueprint and we will increase yes enable the outline spawn required items nearby spawn radius is the uh, maximum radius the nearby item can go so i will just make it thousand and minimum radius is the minimum distance from the weapon the item nearby item would spawn so i will make it 35 and in item area i will just add the weapon one because now it will from the weapon one it will spawn the nearby item so let's close these and drag drop the loot points in this air uh, maybe here and here now because we only have one weapon as of now so it there won't be any randomness and only the first weapon would be spawned but oh sorry we missed a few things um, firstly because it needs to trace for the uh, ground so we need to enable the trace point so let's get to bp weapon and here trace channel property we will just select a web uh world is static you can create custom trace channels but i don't think we need that as of now and also for attachment we need trace channel to be world static 
and to enable the outline we need a post process and this should have infinite extent and one more thing is outline uh, sorry you need to search for material post process material in array just select your uh, outline material we have provided that in the plugin folder and one more thing which we need to do is you open your player bp and change the parent class to base character in the future versions you don't need to do this uh, because we only need the reference for the base character to change the outline status so now as you can see for uh, we have attachment and we have two attachments one is for this weapon which is at this distance and the next is for the second weapon which is at a good distance uh, so yeah that the system works and if i get into the range uh, it's not showing me the outline for some reason i think i enabled the outline Okay, so strangely, I just forgot to, uh, uh, I don't know why, but uh, I just restarted the project and it just started working. So I will find the reason for that. But yeah, now it works now. So if you get into the region, it will just outline. And if you see the weapons too high, it's just because I have increased the distance. Now this should happen for all. And yeah, that is it for this video. More updates would be coming to the system uh, very soon. So I hope you find this plugin useful in your projects. And thanks for watching. Meet you in the next one.